Hey, what's up everyone? Corny Phil here, and I'm here to talk to you about a game called Banished. Now this is a game I found on Steam. It's a tight little indie game. Uh, basically kind of a simulator, village simulator, city simulator kind of game. Uh, for 20 bucks on Steam, I thought it was pretty worth it, and I just wanted to share it with uh, you guys. So let me go ahead and load into uh, actually the town you see before you. This is loaded up. Load screens. Not too bad. So, oh, it's raining. Here, let's wait for the rain to end. So as you can see, the uh, as I move the camera around, it's, um, this is the main interface. As you can see, all my people, all my little villagers are hard at work. And if the rain ever ends, holy crap. Uh, rain, please? Okay, whatever. I don't got time for this. So anyway, Banished is a game about you and a couple of other families. So basically what happened was you and between four and six other families are have been kicked out of whatever civilization, you know, for doing something unspecified but probably unmentionable with a goat. So let's be real, it's probably something like that. So I'll let the simulation keep running. So you're out here in the middle of nowhere and you've come to start anew. So that's it. You basically start with some resources, a storage barn, and five, in this case, five families worth of people. And your goal is to survive. So, along with your basic resources, such as wood, stone, iron, firewood, which is made from wood, who'd have thought, coal, tools, hide, or coat, or clo extra clothes, like coats to help keep your people warm, herbs to uh or medicine to help you get through the sick times and food huge importance on food your other resource is the people now as you can see right now i have 64 adults 20 students 25 children and over time they age they die i can actually go through and look at individual see if i can remember how to do this there we go Citizen, Harley, gender female, she's happy, she's a farmer, she's 51, she's working. Very good, Harley. You keep up the good work. So anyway, this game is all about just building a new city. And just for spoiler alert, this game is hard. It is hard as can be. The primary reason being food. Your first resource is food. It's entirely possible that your village will starve to death very quickly if you're not paying attention. On top of that, you can easily have diseases break out, your orchards can become infected. Just a whole litany of things can go horribly, horribly wrong. Right now, this town's doing pretty good. Got a good host of uh, different people working on different things. Um, I won't go into explaining what everything do, though things like fishermen, kind of intuitive. But yeah, that's the core of the game, is taking this village of people and um, helping them survive. So uh, it's probably not as action-oriented as most of the games me and uh, Swiss have played on the channel, but uh, by comparison, it's kind of just really addicting, because you'll spend just hours trying to get your villagers to live. Like, uh-oh, let's look right now, my, uh, a bunch of my villagers are out of tools, what, am I, what is my blacksmith doing? What do you mean you're out of iron? Uh-oh. And as you can see, now I've got a problem. I need iron. I have a mine working. It's producing iron, but not very quickly. So, I'm going to have to find a way to get more iron. And you see, that's just... That's kind of the core issue of this game. Is you're going to be spending every season... Spring, summer, winter... Or fall, winter... Trying to keep these villagers alive. Because if you lose them all, it's game over. And let's be real, nobody wants to see 15 people starve to death because you can't manage a farm. So like I said, this game's $20 on Steam. It's in development by one guy, so if you really are into indie developers, this is a game worth playing, I think. But I will just warn, for the faint of heart, this game is hard. Even on the easiest difficulty, it's entirely possible, if you're not playing well, to kill your entire village in a split second almost just because you don't have enough food or you don't have enough firewood or you're trying to do too many things at one point and i say that's the biggest single weakness i have in this game is i just try to play too quickly 
So anyway, that's Banished. Um, I think I might be doing a Let's Play series of this, just kind of showing you from the beginning rather than from this fully developed town. So until next time, I'm Corny Phil, and uh, this is Banished.